From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Now into the second phase of vaccination against the coronavirus. Second dose is now available in the capital and Grand Bahama beginning today. The vaccine committee says all sites in the capital and Grand Bahama are now available for those second shots. There's still some concern about vaccine hesitancy in the country. To date, about 36,000 persons have received their first shots, but some people are still reluctant to take it. Health officials not sure why, but they're again urging persons to get information from reliable sources and not to rely on information being circulated on social media. The clock is ticking on the current emergency orders. It expires May 23rd. Prime Minister Minnis says no decision yet on what will happen. We've been watching the statistics, um, watching the hospitalization, watching the response of the public. Uh, our main objective and goal moving forward is to ensure that we come out of um, what we're going through as quickly as possible. So I would um, discuss um, with um, the physicians, um, hear their views, and um, after which discuss with my colleagues, and then come up with a final determination which is best um, for the nation. Police in the capital say they have no official report about a post-funeral Jankano rush out in the Central area here in the capital over the weekend. Video posted on social media. Area MP Reese Chipman saw it, called it disheartening. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The coronavirus numbers in the capital continue to be on the high side for health officials. 113 of the 151 total cases reported for the weekend three-day period in the capital. Health officials remain concerned about the number of cases here. And they're concerned about an increase in hospital numbers also. There are now 58 persons in hospital, five in the ICU, and the death toll is now at 213, two New Providence women added to the list. New airport on the way for Exuma. Prime Minister Minutes among officials on the island for groundbreaking ceremonies over the weekend. They believe this will have a positive impact on the tourism numbers for the island in time. Former DNA leader Brownville McCartney among those cited for a corona curfew violation. Seems he stayed out beyond the 10 p.m. deadline on his birthday last week. He's facing a fine. His lawyer says he'll pay it, likely. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. On the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AQ weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. No systems in the area. Partly cloudy tonight. Overnight lows from the mid to upper 70s. 75 at Freeport, 77 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable, the sea is three feet or less. The next tide is a high around 8 o'clock this evening. Tuesday's forecast, partly sunny, highs in the mid to upper 80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Powered Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World news headlines. Parts of India now in lockdown on the coronavirus numbers that are beginning to come down. Less than 400,000 cases and less than 4,000 deaths for the first time in more than a week. The government now getting much needed supplies to various areas. Some countries now opening up more from the coronavirus. British Prime Minister Johnson announcing a further easing of restrictions in the UK as of next week. The numbers are good in the U.S., though the lowest they've been in months, the U.S. beginning to return to more normal. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. It's a little bit on TV, some soccer is there, and the NBA heading into the final week of the regular season. Major League Baseball on TV on ESPN. The Tribune Sports has the latest on the Olympics and the COVID-19 situation. And read about the record-setting performance of hurdler Devin Charlton over the weekend. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune sports section 
Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 